try YouTube. Let's see if this shit works. So, I seen a vlogger who mounted his GoPro to the top of his helmet. Thank you for the quick replies on that subject. MDZ Vlogs. And uh, he said that it can handle speeds well above what I'm driving right now. So that's a good thing. And it'll get the view back where I see it from. And I think that's important. I did like the the side view. Uh, I had it mounted on my rear view mirror for a little while. I guess the driver's side, like if you're sitting in a car. That one, anyway. Uh, the left rear view mirror. And it was cool, but the last video I just uploaded, you guys are going to see. There's some shakes and shit in it. Um, the only thing I'm going to have to work on with this new helmet is, is for one, I am going to have to uh, get some black Velcro or some stuff and uh, make sure that the uh, 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 sorry, make sure that the um, the microphone cable is up out of the way for myself. Crack my visor a little bit, and then I also have to. Uh, Make sure that where the microphone placement is, there's not an excessive amount of wind noise, which right now there probably will be because my helmet's cracked. There we go. Or sorry, my face shield was cracked, not my helmet. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna see how this works out. Um, I'm not used to the view and all that kind of stuff. I'm used to putting it on in front of my face, like my other helmet. And so basically you know that whatever you're looking at, you're good to go. So it makes it kind of easier. But we'll see. So this is just gonna be literally a vlog of me driving around talking shit to myself to see how this all works out. You know what I mean? So. We'll see how it works. I'm getting more confident in leaning. Um, if you watch through my videos, you might notice that a little bit, or you might not notice it. Um, I've taken a few corners, kind of puckered up my butthole, honestly, to tell you the truth a little bit. But uh, I mean, the Ninja 650 is actually substantially flickable. And especially because, I mean, you know, I came from a cruiser, so it's even more so. But, uh, yeah, I, I think my tires are scrubbed in good enough. I've got like a hundred, well, damn near 200 miles on this thing by now. So, you know, my tires, I love the flash to pass thing. Sorry, ADD. Uh, but, I mean, my tires damn well should be scrubbed in by now. It shouldn't take no 200 miles of scrubbing some tires. Of course, it probably took me a little bit longer than it would take the average sport bike rider putting new tires on their shit because I'm not the average sport bike rider. <laughs> so the reason I could not mount my GoPro to the side or to the front of my helmet. I could have mounted it to the side, but it would have been the far side. I might as well have sold my GoPro and went and bought a drift or a ghost. Uh, but the reason I couldn't mount it to the front is because on the Vortex, it, uh, it, uh, fuck, can't even talk right. The chin vent, the little adjustment for the chin vent thing goes down a lot lower than it did on my Bell Arrow. And then on top of that, um, there it's also, you know, it's more aggressive and it's, you know, it's one of their, it's not like the top of the line Bell by any means really anywhere near it but you know it's meant to not be a bottom of the line helmet so because of that you know it's got more agree more aggressive features to help reduce buffeting and head movements and all that shit so due to all these it was either the top or one of the far sides and I like I said I like the view that I get Whenever I, whenever you're more or less head on, you know what I'm saying. Let me go up to the post office real quick, since even 
though it's late at night, I don't have to be to work until like 8.30 in the morning. So that's like a lot of sleep. Nice to her still feller. She's in the uh, break-in period, unfortunately. I only drive like this on post though. When I'm on post, I use varying RPMs and speed up and slow down and all that shit. I've gotten on her a few times. I still have yet to get anywhere near. I don't think I've gone above 6,000 RPMs yet. And I have never got anywhere near red line. And I... Oh, bump. Yeah. What else have I not done? I haven't done any like hard, hard accelerations. I've done about shit like right there. I've done like 25% at most. And I mean, that's plenty. You know, she gets up, gets up and goes substantially more than my shadow did. God bless her heart because I love that bike. I really did. I won't even lie. And yeah, I broke my word and I went and got a freaking Kawasaki instead of sticking with a Honda. But Honda doesn't make, okay, they make a 650, but they don't make something that's not a four-cylinder. So I was like, screw all that shit. Personal preference, I understand. I just don't want something that big. I, I, I wasn't really interested in an inline four-cylinder. I mean, if y'all watch my videos, I was actually interested in a Honda CBR250 or a Kawasaki Ninja 300. I got a badass deal on this though, I can't even lie, so... Nothing to complain about at all. Except it doesn't seem like they put the front end together right. It's got some rattles and vibrations. He was like, that's because it's breaking in. I was like, right. Because whenever I was born, you know, before I learned how to walk and I broke in and everything, you know, I used to walk around with my muscles and bones and shit creaking and all that. Oh wait, no, I, I definitely didn't. I do like only putting one leg down and not having to worry about balancing it. I do like the lean angle I'm allowed to get out of this thing compared to the Honda. The Honda I scraped many a foot peg. So. And the visor on this new helmet is fucking amazing, man. I can see with it shut and there's like hardly any window. And you know what? The only thing I've tried is that vent. I haven't opened shit else. Where's this one at? Holy shit, that just made my forehead cold. It's got an eyebrow vent? Wow, it actually works. Who would have thunk? So I'm gonna do it real quick. It's just a little ride around. Nothing crazy. I just honestly want to see the angle and see what you guys get out of it. <sighs> Alright, that was enough scariness for me. I know if you squeeze with your legs on this tank, because I can, then you can balance yourself. I just don't like to fucking show off and try to get my bad, my mirror. There she is. It's taking me four days to get my mirrors where I like them. What kind of shit is that? Now, man, if I open all the vents on this fucking thing, it's going to be cold. Right now, I know it won't be cold in the summertime. Especially not on the East Coast and the humidity, bitches. Fuck humidity. That's what I say. I say fuck humidity. Go through here, through a little couple little turns. Oh, shit, I'm speeding. Don't worry, I gotta cut all this shit out too. So, no matter. I'm gonna buy a face shield next paycheck. It ain't getting no warmer outside, but the sun definitely still comes up to make daylight appear. Shit, I should have missed that, I guess. Oh well, it's too late now. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, I could have leaned over further than that. I just don't yet, because I'm afraid to.